Hello, fellow cat lovers, I hope, and everyone else out there. What do we have here? Looks like we have our two beams, and our column would have been here. And let's put the column back. And do, 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 do. And column would have been here. And we don't have it there. This looks like that might be the beam one and beam two. This one I was able to find in other uh, live shots last night. It's got brick covered. Let's see how this look plays out here. So you're talking about disappearance of that corner column that I talked about in a previous video. It's definitely been vanished. So here's my little baby there. I talk about multiple videos with the fractures. All right. And we're going to see how that bypass works. It's 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 interesting the top two floors still have the cantilever. The floors are doing pretty uh these two. I believe there is the roof, the ceiling there and that they're doing pretty good. There's a lot of redundancy behind this one. But this one is pretty rigid still. That's interesting. Again, I think the detail issue is the details, or devils in details, those corner tie-ins. This is the load-bearing side of the floor joists, where the floor joists tie back. Tie back into the structure, back to here. And this is a wall that's tied at the corner here, so-so. And it gets small. Remember, at the base, it's, it's got more, it's a thicker wall. They have, you know, four, four or five rows of bricks. And if they get near the top, get down to maybe three rows of bricks, three deep, or maybe four. But it's uh, it's not it's not holding up now. You know, these years is what a hundred year building, ninety nine or whatever it might be. And so it looks like we might be finding our life cycle of these uh, brick buildings, especially of this design. So here are the two the floor area roof. You can see it in this one here, and I talk about the depth. So here's your you know, five courses, five courses, four, four, three, two, two courses. You know, the, the amount of courses, it, it reduces. So this obviously is weaker than down there. In relationship to what's left, or a balance of the building, the height-wise, it's perfectly doable. Um, and don't, don't hold me to the exact numbers. It might be six down the bottom and two near the top. The... Um, and and it's the the it is a veneer over top of the uh, bricks also the structural and their veneer bricks so decorative brick all right the finished bricks let's get back to it so here I have a better still for you and there you have your your maybe three layers hey Nance uh, Steph. That just came out. And then we have this floor here. This is interesting. Remember I talked about the brick or in between here, balloon framing, uh, uh, the uh, pocketed framing for the joists going into the wall. Remember up here we don't have as many bricks, so you don't get the depth as we do further down where you'll see the brick inside the joist pockets. So it had less stress on it when it was... Uh, when it was said goodbye bye, when it moved apart, it's 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 as though part of this wall buckled also, not just fell over. So it's six stories tall. So once you think about that, it didn't just go boom and pivot from here. Now it, it it you know it consolidated and from the bottom up. This would look like that. Still the same result. Still the same result. Top down, bottom up. Still the same result. It's not a hinge point here and boom. No. So, it, 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 you know, I'm, I'm thinking this is steel. All right, steel. And I'd like to see if, if back here, you know, did the column bow back? Did it have steel in it? Did it uh, take a rotation backwards? Okay, so uh, a little more clarity on this. There's what, the... Uh, well, it's a little machine inside there, an ice machine inside there, something else inside, a 
cooler box. Looks like it's even with the glass where the glass would have been. So I believe this was here. Uh, well, that's what I believe right now. You know, better imagery, better, I can do better details. But that, that sat in there. So it's not much, but it didn't, it didn't ship off. It didn't shear off there. Uh, it's putting it back over here at this intersection, whatever they did, whatever they did here. It didn't also, it's, it didn't fracture. You see, it's still rigid. Now I saw this when brick was on it. Maybe brick's still on that side of it. Um, I saw this when brick was on, was on it. Same thing with this. It appears to be in great shape. Didn't mean it didn't uh, twist and come in. They said they heard cracking when it ran out. So it doesn't mean that, you know, the, they didn't, how could they hear it 60 feet away up in the grass, up there? So it appears that they're warning to people in down in that bodega, which is a deli. Um, they might have heard the cracking in their own, at their own ceiling height. So this biasly so puts me back to the um, this uh, this one corner column failure. So I was able to get you the uh, first floor brick profile right there. Um, you can see internally here looks like two. This is wood. Uh, presents as wood plaster out here. So looks like one, two, three, four layers possibly. Uh, a brick. Let's see if I can get figure that out. One, two, three, four layer. I, I'd like to see a better shot, but the, you know, I guess we're working with that right now. Let's keep it moving. So I'm I'm also not opposed that this is where the uh, uh, further up is where the beam was set. Let's call it a beam. Um, the that this internal pocket supporting pocket could be part of the failure. I want you to keep in mind that these bricks, you know, when you put together a brick wall, when it's sitting, you know, locked in over years, you'd be surprised what you can remove, like this beam, for example, and these bricks will stay um, in place because they found a, the, 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 they can, they have a load path. It's both in tension and can, it's like a corbel back to compression also. So there's load paths that can really be redundant. Um, not 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 fully load paths. Obviously, this one failed, so it, obviously it is not a full load path that took place here. But there was some distribution of the load, not just all, as you may think, all sitting down on this beam. Now, there's distribution here. This is questionable to me, uh, meaning it, resolve what's going on there. Um, the beam coming down and then sliding down that wall is, is something comes to mind. And here's the better shot as we pull back, if you will. And you can see the farming down here for scale. And again, I'm thinking the beam was somewhere about here, which if it fell off, say it was in the wall here, and this is the brick and the brick here, it fell off like this, it, like that, just a pry, because there's a column here to act like a pry bar, this would, since this is further developed here, this would break off the brick here, leaving this, remove this, this V-shape. Well, it turns out in real life, there's that V-shape right there. Let me go back. So, I have that pry bar action going on there, that this canvas lever action taking out the section here, this section. So, so to be clear, that, that's just a theory. I, I, I don't have more, you know, don't, don't be sold on my bias. You know, you can like it, but don't be sold on it. You always have to uh, leave open chance to move and adjust. The two, the two up here, looks like we're down the two at that point on the parapet. Yeah, welcome to all those noises in the background, right? Fire engines. So as you look here, I want you to think of the headers that were here. And you can see the little notch outs. All right, the header was inside there. And as it got pried down, it takes out the bricks that are below it, right? Halfway. And then it takes out the top. And there is another one this time. The behavior looks a little different up top. 
It's as if it slid out here. So that's more like slide out. This is sheared off fully. That tells a story. This one um, can't jack this whole section off here. All the way off, so it rotated off. Um, going down here again, that would be that wedge action I told you about. Where you're prying it off, the bricks off. Okay. And here we have the floor joists here. And floor joists here, floor above, totally dropped down from above. And, and here it is, it was here and came off. This section here, you can see it moved towards the street this direction. All right, so. And it looks like that, the one, I remember I said some of it's veneer. Looks like we have the one layer, the veneer decorative brick. That's the exterior, and here it is here again. And then it's the structural brick. Looks like it's down to. Shit, that almost looks like one brick. And they're tying in that facade brick, and that brick would require them to tie it in with uh, a, a brick that's turned the other direction. So it would be brick this way, and then every every so every so often there will be a brick, you know, depending on what they did in that, in that year and that design, how many bricks, every three courses, every four, every seven, um, to lock it in. Problem is the back brick is a non-decorative brick, so they'd have to use a decorative brick to do this, so you can get the that look, the finished look outside. We'll have to look at that building again and see if we can see that. I have not observed that at this point. Um, let's go on, and I have it for you here. This is would be look uh, presents as presents as the brick that I'll talk about the turns and goes the other direction. So maybe there, maybe, maybe, no, let's see, uh, near the jam, maybe. This is like they had some brick work done, you know, they, they tightened this building up. And the uh, brick work above the windows. So you can see they did, they did the header, brick work, brick work. Brickwork, brickwork. You know they, they've they've done some brickwork here. Um, let's move on. Let's don't move on. Let's look at the brickwork compared to how it ties in, if any at all. I don't know if that ties in or not. It looks like it does, but I don't know if it does or not. Nevertheless, it looks like they're both together, and that's my little wedge action I told you about. To pry it out. So observe the fire personnel down here this is in a bucket this is way up high this is talking about compression and things like that they look like the same this person's high in the ground off the ground this one's here but i want you to observe that's the piece i believe we're looking at um in the beginning of this video again it would be here So back to the hey Dawes. I'm having a little fun with you. Be careful with me. Not, we're not fun with you as in playing with you, but I want you to um, think about that that uh, phone. That phone. I want you to. Here's your Dawes. Dawes. Here's your hint. I want you to go back there and go around the block. Go back there where we were where you were talking about, and I want you to go around the block and tell me when you figured out your correction. If you can't figure it out, write me, and I'll um, I'll uh, I'll show you I'll show you your, your uh, what I'm talking about. All right, so there's the fractures, the column that doesn't present any longer. We don't see it in, as in the beginning of the video I showed you, uh, the beginning of this video, and we have these fractures. Beam. Well, I don't know if it's exactly there. Probably higher. Higher. Okay, column, and fractured all the hell. So, all right, it, it fails, it, it it could fail, and then during its failure, let's see we get this, this uh, it's loaded, so it's, it's taking a hell of a load. So part of that corner is not redundant, all right? It's too far out to reach. So it 
it this thing fails, right? They heard some cracking. Let's say they heard cracking, and they well, they said they did, and they took off. Let's assume there's no way since we saw the video that, that this thing didn't break down in multiple layers over many minutes. Um, I mean, as far as falling to the street, um, the that they heard the fracturing here is where they took off. It was, it was they heard it on the first floor. So with that said, we we pick on this. I pick on this column here. They hear it. They get out the door. The door works, in fact. But the now that that first layer of brick, this big chunk of brick, if you will, can't. It's pretty significant before you get to the first window. I think it's somewhere like that. No, is that right? Am I? No. Yeah, there's no windows up here, so it's pretty significant. All right, so let's uh, let's call that a big section. And as this guy cranks down, right, drops down, it fractures the plane here. Here's our plane, and there's a continuation of the plane. It can't, it's not self-supporting. It takes a rotation this way a bit to the, our left, pulling on the bricks that were interlocked at the corners, pulling on it, pulling these bricks towards this stockpile there you hear. Some of it did push the scaffolding out. You know, if you look at the profile of it, some of the scaffolding's pushed out into the street. I believe this is first. This is our panel here. This is our first first panel. This, and I say panel, I'm calling this all the a panel here, and they're interconnected with the minimum. As it works out, the minimum um, interaction. Let's see, so first, one, okay, so it's back here, that panel there. Um, I think she jogs over um, and down here like this. Okay, and so there we have our failure. Remember, the structural wall that holds the the joist is over here. This is that wall there. When that goes away, we get our floors and all in cantilever. A lot of some plywood. It, it break. They they only support near the closet just a little bit, and it rips the plywood, whatever the sheathing is, or probably just um, tongue groove flooring, and it's no problem to separate from the from the shear plane right there. Take care. This will be. Unless some other images come up, this might be the end of this content. Um, unless I can, unless you guys can find me this one, that would be great if you can find me the clean, the clean, the clean site. And we'll take a look at that column there. If that column's there, that would be so awesome. But we just saw it. Doesn't it present there? It just biasly so. My bias comes back to that column. Take care. Love you guys. Again, as always, thank you for the love of the cats. I've got. A few of you send in some send that love, the Christmas love. Carolyn, Donna Bell. Well, if I make a mistake, you say Donna Bella. Good, I can't help that. I apologize. Zachary, uh, and you other people that send some donations for the channel. Appreciate you all. Thank you. Don't stop the love, and I won't stop giving content for you. Thank you.